let us continue with our next step. We have just completed our first question. Okay, this is the required button. If we enable this required button, it means that the one who, who is taking this survey must answer the question number one. When you turn it off, that means the question is optional. You can proceed to the next question even though if you don't answer the first question. But if you put this thing as required, that means the first question must be answered first before you can proceed to the next question. So I just put this thing as required. So I am forcing the one who takes this survey to answer the first question. Okay, this is if you want to delete the question if the thing is not right. And this one is for you to duplicate or copy the question if you want to make another one that is the same with the first question. Okay, we can also insert other things like videos, image, text and all that. We can also import question, but we are going to learn that thing later. Okay, let's go to the next question. We press this plus sign in order to for us to add a new question. Press this. Now we are ready to key in our next question. We just put in a number, number two. Okay, the, que the next question is, tell us what you eat this morning. Okay, for this question, we don't want the respondent or the one who, who's taking this survey to answer just like number one. It's not a multiple choice question. So I just want to change to another one. I just change this thing into short answer. That means we have a blank space over here for the person who take the survey to answer in a short answering text. For example, you can put in things like scrambled egg, nasi lemak or something. It's free for, for the survey taker to key in anything in this blank space. Okay, we can put this thing as required also if we want the person who is taking this survey to answer the second question also. 